Hey guys, I wanted to show you some of the differences between the LTSpice user interface on the Mac and on Windows. You'll notice on the Mac there are no tools up here, at least no, the toolbar is very empty. It has run and stop and settings, but that's about it. The, uh, the thing is, if you want to uh, get to anything, you have to right click, and there's a couple of different ways to do it. One is to enable secondary click in the trackpad control panel, and if you do that, you can just click as, a, as the animation showing here. You can click on the lower right hand corner of the trackpad and you'll get contextual menus. The other way is to just uh, two finger click and that also does the same thing. So uh, I'm going to do my right click here. Okay, there we go. And you'll notice you've got the run, the halt. There's a view menu which includes uh, the error log and the waveform data, the netlist, and so on. So these guys are available to you. Edit allows you to move, drag, delete, and so on. Draft is where you'll get most of the stuff you want to draw, so wires and components and so on. And notice that there are shortcuts here, F3, F2, F4, so you don't have to go to the draft menu if you want to just get components. You can just hit F4, F2, say, for example. Um, you can also draw geometry, and you can look at the hierarchy of symbols, which you probably won't do for this course, but that's okay. So let's uh, let's just make a simple circuit. <clears throat> so what I'll do is uh, take start with the voltage source. Uh, we can just use a guy that looks like this, and uh, then I'll get a resistor, say. There we go. There's a resistor. And this is going to be the dumbest circuit in the world, but you get the idea. And then um, the last thing I want to do is add some wire. So that's F3. So I'll just put some wire in here. And we also need a ground symbol, so I'll add a ground symbol. Um, that's a net name, or F4, and we want to choose ground here. And that inserts a ground. I'll just attach it to my circuit. So you need that in SPICE to get the thing to go. Then we've got to put some components. So if you right-click on a component, you can see it's got a DC voltage value. Or if you want to make a more advanced source, you click on the Advanced tab and you can make uh, pulses and signs and exponentials and things like that. But for now, we'll just have a DC value. Let's make it a 5-volt power supply. 5-volt voltage source. Then uh, for the resistor, let's make it a 1K. And of course, we should get 5 milliamps of current. Let's, uh, let's run it. Oh, I didn't put an analysis command, so I have to add a SPICE directive, which in this case, uh, we want to do a dot .op that finds the operating point. So I'm just going to, you can just drop that anywhere you want in the diagram, and let's try to run again. Now I get a graph, so the easiest way to use this guy is to click, go ahead and do it this way, click on the uh, circuit element, I get 5 volts, or if I click on a component, it gets the current. The other thing I can do is view the error log, and then we'll get the analysis, the voltage and the current, the voltage at every node, and the current through every device. So that's the way to do it. And that's all there is.